Despite the fact that Walter Brown is or used to be the best player in the United States, despite the growing throng around Francisco's board, despite the fact that Walter was taking more time every turn, he ended up making a move here that was equivalent to dropping a rook. Walter Brown is famous for being a very sharp opening theoretician with dozens of innovations to his name. He always chooses the sharpest lines, but here, after only 11 moves, he's completely lost. Just imagine the scene. 39 people are waiting for Walter to go to the next board. But if he plays correctly and puts a piece on g5, black might play f6 and possibly fg, and he might have triple g pawns, a completely irrational situation, almost impossible for a human to evaluate. So Walter played pawn takes pawn, and after pawn takes knight, his nightmare began. At this point, Walter could tell even better than Francisco that white was completely lost. And as Walter got more and more flustered, Francisco enjoyed the greatest moment of his chess life as dozens of admirers stared at him, wondering if he was going to pull off the big upset. Having played thousands of fishing poles, I could tell you it wins faster than any opening I know of. Walter hasn't even made a dozen moves, but he's completely busted. There's threats of queen h4, fg, b5 followed by knight to d4 or knight to e5. The bishop can come into h3, maybe g2. And this bishop is exerting great pressure on the king. As Anthea says, if it looks like a mess, it is. Walter tried to keep Francisco's queen out of play with g3, but Francisco made the best move, b5. The idea is to get this knight to protect the f3 pawn, after which Francisco can play bishop h3, g2, or get his queen to h3. In the future, all Roy Lopez books will have to feature a chapter on the fishing pole. But now, in his first decade, there's nowhere for White to turn. That lets him think for himself, and we all know what that leads to. Covenator calling Raven. Come on, Raven. Covenator calling Raven. Covenator to Raven. Talk to me, Johnny. Covenator to identify Baker T. Rambo. Mesner. Ortega. Coletta. Jorgensen. Danforth. Barry. Krakauer. Confirmed. This is Colonel Trump. Talk to me, Johnny. The problems of the fishing pole are different than any other opening. Usually you have to memorize dozens of moves to get equality or a small advantage. In the fishing pole the problem is white keeps finding new ways to lose. And en route to victory you will miss dozens of wins. Walter retreated his bishop. Despite the 1000 point rating difference, Francisco had his moment in the sun, his 15 minutes of fame. He made the best move. Not only is he threatening the deadly knight to e2 check, he's also threatening to get a bishop to g2 or a queen to h3. There is no defense. The fishing pole is not like any other opening. If the white victim makes it to move 20, we say that he reached the end game. Walter is a world class blitz player and when he contorts and twists his face and body in time pressure it's a terrible thing to watch as Walter twisted and turned in this position knowing better than anyone how dead he really was the crowd got bigger and bigger I played Walter Brown in a blitz tournament it was a side event to a main tournament in Vegas I had two minutes to his one in a winning position but Walter is a world-class blitz player. 
and he went into some kind of warp hyperdrive and I ended up losing and his face was contorted and his body was twisting and he was suffering and it was agony to watch him and that's what Walter did here for three minutes he got more and more upset and there was no way out and the crowd was watching him intently and they were looking at Francisco and they were looking at Walter the most crushing move is Bishop to H3 with the idea of Bishop G2 and Rook H1 mate Francisco's move was only half as good as that but of course it was good enough to beat a Grandmaster Vagrancy wasn't it? That's gonna look real good on his gravestone at Arlington here lies John Rambo, winner of the Congressional Medal of Honor, survivor of countless incursions behind enemy lines, killed for vagrancy in Jerkwater, USA. The fishing pole is tsunami that floods the village before the townspeople get halfway up the hill. Francisco played Queen D7, threatening death at H3. And Walter actually found one of the three moves that didn't lead to immediate mate. Walter played e6, perhaps hoping that Francisco would play queen e6, knight c7 check, like any of the other 39 boards might have. But Francisco played the best move again, pawn takes pawn. In a hopeless position, six-time U.S. champion Walter Brown made the best move. But after pawn takes knight, he resigns because after pawn takes pawn check, king f8, white gets mated. After e6, queen e6, he wins the queen. But white will win the queen back after knight e2 or bishop h3, g2. And white will come into the end game at least a rook down. So we have one of the most famous grandmasters in American history losing to the fishing pole in 16 moves. Raytheon 1, GM 0. Oh uh -huh. 